Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Chesslock. Now Chesslock is a game that takes the king of all strategy games, chess, and then it puts more strategy on top of it because if you're on this channel you know the most important truth of all, and that's you can never have too much strategy. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this party started, we're gonna play a new game. And we start off with 750 XP and we can pick our abilities. So the way this game works is that you're going to be playing just like normal chess. You're going to be moving your pawns just like you would in regular chess. But on top of that, some of your uh, chess pieces have special abilities. You can see the one that can have them over here. So what I can do is I can unlock these special abilities. For example, I could have my king have an ability to select an ally pawn to promote to knight. What's important is that these abilities are ranged so you can't just promote any pawn. You have to promote a pawn that is in the range and they have a limited amount of uses per game. So I'm not going to go through all these abilities, I think we'll go through them as we unlock them. So first thing I want to talk, talk to you about are the bishop abilities, because the bishop in this game is so powerful. And I love how it kind of combines with like the name of the of the piece, because like bishop, right? So you want abilities like peace, arrive, and kind of make, revive, and kind of make sense, so it's really cool. So we've got this peace ability, which is insanely good. Enemies in range cannot capture pieces on their next turn. This is really, really good. It does mean that you should try to use this in your sort of gameplay strategy by like moving the bishop around a lot. Also revive, bring back captured ally piece, insanely good. So got 350 XP. Knight uh, has some interesting abilities like halt, select an enemy piece to freeze, but uh, none of them are that exciting. Instead, I want an ability of my... where is it? Yeah, so actually, I just love the bishop too much. The, the third ability I was looking for is actually also by the bishop. It's called Repel. Select an enemy piece to place on an enemy empty square adjacent to the enemy throne. This can be really useful because you can just grab an enemy and push them around. We've got 250 XP left, so we've got some points for like either upgrading our abilities so we get multiple increased range actually, not multiple uses, or getting ability on someone else. A rook has an interesting ability of a wall. We can place a wall on an empty square. Ball, wall, walls block movement, so essentially the enemy will not be able to take that step. Or a fortification. None of your pieces near an ally rook can be removed on your opponent's next turn. We're gonna grab that. And I think we'll also grab the ability to promote an ally pawn to a bishop because we sort of buffed up our bishops. So it's a good idea to have bishops that have special it's a good idea to have a lot of bishops so they can do cool stuff. So let's go to mission number one. And let's get going. Now we can see that the enemy only has pawns, so we got some better abilities. So let's start this off by moving. And okay. Now we can also use, a, a, on, on every turn we can move and use our special abilities, but we don't have to use them if we don't want to. But I think actually I'm just gonna appoint this pawn into a bishop because why not let's end our turn because we can use the ability i'm gonna kind of eat up some of these actually okay so we're just gonna start ah well we'll let them eat our pawn it's fine uh, we'll end our turn we can only move once per, per turn obviously yeah as expected now let's use my queen and kind of eat up this pawn Oof. you know why not they should probably move this pawn ahead. They're not doing that. Interesting, interesting choice. All right, now I, I want to start moving my bishops around, but I think for, for that we first got to get rid of the, some of the pawns that they've got over here. So let's do that first. Gonna eat them up. Okay. Now our goal is to take over the king's throne, not necessarily to kill the king or anything like that. Now I'm gonna move my bishop over here. Why can I do that? Oh, because I already moved this turn. Sorry, sorry. My apologies. Ooh. Now, obviously, we can't take over that spot because that would be bad. We would lose our queen, which would be terrible. So we're just gonna do... Let's just do check. Uh, do we want to use any of our special abilities? I don't think we've got anything useful right now, so we're just gonna ignore it. And he's moving away. We could obviously move into this position, but that's not that useful. An alternative option would be to try to use my bishop to get closer, but I don't think... I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. Let's start moving my horse around. I want to get in a bit of a better position to get rid of some of these pawns. Or we can do it like this, sure. 
Okay, now, because he ate that, it's actually good for us because we're gaining some space here. So I could move my queen here and then eat up this bishop. This, this pawn, sorry. Okay, they're protecting that. That makes sense. Oh, they're still gonna do it because pawn is less than, than a horse, so it's not that useful for us right now. Let's just kind of lure them in. We'll sacrifice this pawn just to get rid of this one. Yeah, and then we can move the the rook forward, kind of destroy some of these things over here. Now you might ask, why don't I just move with the queen here? Well, because obviously the king would, would kill me, so... It's, uh, the game doesn't automatically end when you step onto the throne. What has to happen is um, you have to kind of... If, if the king can kill whoever's on the throne, then the game doesn't end. So it's just something to keep in mind. We really should start. Be, should use our bishops a bit more. I just I, I like buffed them. And now I'm not using them. All right, let's do a check on the king because why not? We want to get him away from the throne so that we can start moving around in that direction. Okay, they're attacking, trying to attack my queen, which means I can now kill this pawn, which is good for me. This is actually a really good move for us. And now we can kind of clean up in this area. Now we're gonna do check. It's gonna be checkmate, which is not particularly interesting, but it's actually not gonna stop the game. But what I can do now... Did I end my turn yet? I, I think I just... <laughs> for Fed's turn, I didn't mean to do that. We can kill the king, which isn't gonna do anything. Pawn can eat up any of my pawns here, I couldn't care less. And now we have won the game. But obviously, it wasn't like an equal game plan. Now, the more enemy pieces you capture, the more points you had. So it's not necessarily that you have to be fast. You don't really get more points for being quick. It's more about um, how many enemy pieces you take. Do you want something? I don't really use these promotions as much. Select can control an enemy piece to make that piece's normal move. That could be interesting. This would allow us to essentially push well then again if they're one away from the king we could just eat it with the king it might have been a bit of a waste that was probably a waste replace the position of an ally pawn with your queen your pawn is removed yeah let's grab that if we need to teleport our queen we can do it now the game does have an item shop here but this um is actually like in-game purchases this is real money so obviously we're not going to be using that Personally, I prefer if PC games don't have in-game purchases, but yeah, it's just the way it is. Alright, so now you can see the enemy has a bit more interesting pieces. So let's start by moving some of our bishops around, so we can get a bit of a better area. Something else that we need to use right now. Okay, they're switching, so they're gonna attack my bishop. How can I- oh, so, so this is interesting. They used an ability to switch, and then they were able to actually do a move. So they were actually able to do these two things at once. That was a really cool move on their part. What can we do here? Nothing. Well, if they take over my knight, I can destroy them with my rook. Do I have any interesting abilities? I do have fortification, so I, I can block them so they cannot hit my, um, they can't hit, m kill my knight now. They probably wouldn't anyway, because I'm not sure if they would want to waste the rook. Okay, they're attacking with their bishop upon my tower here, which I could easily block, but then I can't focus on this. I could block it like this. But then my my knight is gonna be exposed. You could appoint a bishop somewhere though, that might be useful. Yeah, I could appoint this to be a bishop. And then we'll see if the rook will want to sacrifice itself. It does not. Okay, it's moving closer like this, which kind of, again, makes sense. Oh, we gotta start moving. So, I'm gonna move my king closer. And that was gonna allow us to destroy the tower. Okay, the tower is running away like a coward. Because it's afraid of me. Alright, uh, regardless, we gotta get out of here because this is not a good position for us right now. Unless... Yeah. I'm gonna move this way, I think.
We can move like that, and then we could use... What does Repel do? We could teleport someone away, we didn't... We could use Peace here to make sure that their bishop cannot hit me. We're gonna do that. Oof, this is not a great move for us. I could, however, move this way and sort of threaten their tower. Then again, if we take over their tower, they will take over my bishop, but we're still in a fairly interesting position. I can also... Just, oh, the, replace the position of an ally pawn with your queen. Yeah, that's not really useful. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I would want to do. Not really. They use the double ability, but I could destroy the queen. And remember, I do have revive, so I can easily revive my queen when needed. Okay. Now. I need to place my king in a way that's good for me. I could seize. I could move towards the tower, seize it, and move it somewhere. But the question is, they can still make their own move later. So what would be a good position for me? I could move it downwards. Which would then force it to either kill... Which would then allow it to kill my tower, which is kind of pointless. Alternatively, I could move it here. Force it to either kill my horse, which, uh, sorry, my knight, which would allow me to kill it. Or move down, which would allow my knight to kill it or run away. Could move here, though. And then there's nothing we can do with it. Because our horse would, uh, our knight would be blocking it. I'll turn that I could just move down and protect my knight this way. I think we'll just do that. Right. Now we do have repel. Okay, we wanna. We would like to revive the queen. The question is where we wanna place the queen. So we, we could only place it here in order for it to still remain alive, and then this tower would destroy it. So that's not a good move. However, alternatively, I could revive the queen to somewhere here. Yeah, I could place my queen this way. And now I can still use my ability, so I'm gonna move my king... Yeah, this is a wall, so I can move it that way. Let's just move my tower here, so that we can threaten their tower. If they wanna sacrifice it, they'll lose their tower as well, which is okay for us. Okay, they do have two bishops. Now, we could kill their knight, and there's nothing they can do about it. They could move their king away and threaten me with their rook, but that's okay. We still have authority. Replace the position of an ally pawn. Yeah, we don't care about that. Do we want to use anything else? We still have repel, which we don't need right now. So we're good. I wish you could see somehow, like, which of your pieces have abilities. Like, for example, that if there was something floating above the king, so that I know that I still have this ability that I could use at some point with the king if I wanted to. Because it's not always, like, immediately obvious. I'd like to move a bit more intelligently with my knights, because they're kind of doing nothing here. If I kill the king, then their tower is gonna kill me, so that's not particularly useful. I, I think we, we're gonna start moving with this knight. We want to start moving around. I need to get rid of either of their tower or of their... I'm gonna get rid of their bishop. If I move... No, if I move this way, I'm gonna die. So let's move down here. So we can threaten the bishop. We could repel, that's pointless. Yeah, we'll do it like this. They're gonna move away with the bishop, they're not stupid, but yeah. Oh, this is not a good move for us. We only get Repel and Seize. None of those are great. I 
Let's do... But we'll do a check on the king, just to kind of push him around. Okay. Now we could kill this tower. Oh, because of the wall. I forgot about the wall. Hmm. Do we want to sacrifice our bishop to kill the king? That doesn't seem like a good move. I mean, we could. Actually, I don't think they can voluntarily, I don't know if they can voluntarily sacrifice their king. Like, obviously, normal chess, they couldn't, but it might be that in this case, they could. I'm not actually sure about it. If I kill this, they're gonna kill my bishop. And then there is nothing I can do with my stuff. Let's just do this. I just want to get rid of this pawn. We're just gonna sacrifice our pawn for this. Just because this is in a... Okay, they, they're not... They're not budging. That was, that was a really bad position for us. Okay, let's move this that way. So we can get rid of this pawn. Okay, they're like... Uh, this is actually not too much of a problem for us, I think. Yeah, there's nothing that this knight is threatening. Running away. Okay. Now we've got options. Now... Well, to be fair, not really. If I move to here... No, they're gonna kill it. Let's just move this to rook here. And we're gonna try to attack their bishop over there. Or not, or they can come to us, that works as well. I've got the seize ability, so I could move closer to it and move it somewhere. Where would be a good move for me? Where could I move it so that it couldn't... Do I could move it down here. And then its only option is going to be to stay, which would be dead. Okay, that's great. So we're gonna move here. Oh no, I can, can move it down there because of the because of the wall. So if, if I'm to seize it into this position up here, then its only move is to stay here, which is the death from the queen, move this way or this way. This way is also death from the bishop, so it's going to move into this middle position, which is not going to help us at all, I think. So we're just going to not do it. Yeah, that doesn't help us, actually. Yeah, so we'll just leave it. Alright, the king decided to sacrifice... ...itself, I guess. Uh, do we want to do anything authority? Replace the position of an ally? No, 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 no. You should be good. Okay. I can kill this knight... Actually, I could just... Uh, no, I can't step there because knight comes back. I have to kill this knight first. There should be no repercussions for me on that. Repel. There's no need to repel anything but good. Yeah. So they're trying to protect their bishops like this, which makes sense. Select an enemy piece to place on an empty square adjacent to the throne. So I could get rid of you and place you here. Okay, and then I'll use my queen to kill this one. So now it can hurt me and it has to run away or I'm gonna kill it. Okay, I'm gonna kill it. Remember, we have a wall here so we're protected from this. This was something I didn't realize earlier because I could have just like... Uh, we're gonna kill some of the enemy pieces because we can. I could... Do we want to move there and try to destroy this? Rook. I mean, there's really no point to it. Let's just, let's just take it out. Let's just take it out. Let's not be silly. Okay. Now, this time we've got 15 for game victory, 11 enemy pieces captured, 55. We've got, and also we've got an achievement for capturing 10 pieces total and using 5 abilities. And our queen did a lot of work because you know that, you know, she's the queen. She always does the most work. <laughs> It was an interesting move of the enemy king to sacrifice himself because obviously the king is not that great of a piece 
in regular chess, but it's the most important one. But here, because he isn't the most important one, because the most important is the throne, sacrificing him is kind of like, it's kind of fine. But he does have abilities, which can be interesting. So we've got 180 XP. We don't really have anything to use, so we could just like upgrade him on ability. I think there were, we'll, we'll do the peace thing. I do like the peace thing. It's pretty cool. But actually, I think this might be a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other strategy games that we play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.